My understanding was that the slaves came in on a train and founded that area. Okay. But then um, Mr. Rhodes, I think it was, and maybe even Rita had mentioned that her family came on a ship mm -hmm. and came to that area and lived. But as far as what I know about my grandfather so far, what I've asked my aunt, mm -hmm. Uh, my understanding is that he, my uncle, did oil drill. He was drilling for oil in that area and found the artesian well. The water came up instead of oil. And so my grandfather heard about it, went out there, saw it, and bought the piece of property at that time. Um, it's my understanding that he bought the land and built a summer house there for him to go to. He was the first trained surgeon in Conroe. So my grandfather was a doctor and Mrs. Wilts became his midwife. And supposedly she told him, I can't keep working for you until you build me a church. <laughs> so she he built the uh, Falvey Memorial Church that's out there okay. still for her. Hmm. And um, he, from what I understand, he always provided the water for the community. And, and when he got that land, that was his purpose was to give them water. Okay. So he built this house there and he had celebrations all the time out there and invited the community in. And I, my aunt tells me she can remember them throwing babies up in the air and calling it happy. <laughs> happy. And she just it, she said it would scare her to death because they were throwing them so high up in the air. But uh, Mr. Rhodes told me that at Christmas time, he would stop in at the church when they were having church services or something with my aunt and my father and when they were little. And just stay for a few minutes, but when he would walk in the door, they would start shouting, you know, Dr. Falvey, Dr. Falvey, who's our friend, Dr. Falvey. They loved him because he would bring baskets at Christmas of toys and food and all kind of um, mm -hmm. sodas. Uh, Mr. Rhodes talked about how it, they loved those sodas that he would buy, mm -hmm. <laughs> crates of sodas for them and give them out to the community. And I think he would kill, like, either a goat or a cow or something and bring all that food to them and give it out to the community. Okay. So he was always giving and, and celebrating with them and really opening up his home to mm -hmm. them to come and celebrate. What is his full name? Do you know? Thomas Falvey. Thomas Seymour Falvey. Okay. And Probably you? a couple of years ago, I found out that my grandfather was giving out water, and I didn't even know all this mm -hmm. information because nobody had just sat down and talked to me about it. Right. My mother was married to my father, but it was after my grandfather had passed away as well. So she didn't mm -hmm. know that much about him, and I guess back then they just didn't sit down and talk about history as mm -hmm. much as they do now. Okay, It's almost like a spiritual thing that... I'm finding out my grandfather was helping the African-American community and giving out water. And here I am, I've for 15 years been working in Kenya, Africa, doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the connection of that was just, wow, I never knew that.